hello guys you're welcome back to my channel if you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi pk crown so we are going to be checking out this video titled jesus had the chance to teach the trinity but he didn't answer will be given to us by ahmed did that so let's watch guys i'd like to ask a question I'd like to ask a question, but uh, I'd like to have a right answer first from you. Because in the beginning, you said that uh, when Jesus was talking, when he was 12 years old, he said, I am in the house of my father. And you said he is God's son. When he was 12 years old. And then you said again after that when he was crucified, he was in pain, horror, suffer, because in true, he didn't know if he is son of God or not. So it was two points. You said that when he was 12 years old, you said that he know that he is God's son. And then you said when he was crucified, he was feeling pain and horror. Then because he didn't truly know that if he is a son of God or not. And then your fellow come and said that it is not he is not a son of God. He is God. So I'd like to have a straight answer from you first so I can ask my question. Do you know him or you consider him as a son of God or you consider him as a God? If you answer me, I'll give you my question. Because I feel it's a little bit very much different than each other and against each other, the two of you. So tell me what you believe in and then I will ask my question. Uh, I believe Jesus is God and that he is son of God. What both? Is <laughs> then he is the son. He is the Son of God, and in the same time, He is the Father, and the same time, He came to the earth. What you want to say? Tell me, because I like to ask a question. So tell me what you believe in. We say, both of us, that Jesus is God, part of the three triune God, and at, that He is the Son of God. We do not say that He is the Father. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Spirit. The Spirit is not the Father. It is too big for my mind to think that He is free and oh, still one. Shortly you want to say that you believe in Trinity. Yes. The Father Holy and the Spirit. Son and the Holy Ghost. Yes. Okay, then my question is not to you. My question now will be to Mr. Didat because he explained this point before many times and he's better to explain it to you and to your fellow better than me. Please explain that to uh, them. Uh, so it's not that you even need the explanation. You want them to explain it to them. <laughs> oh. Uh, what is your question? Uh, my question is that you want to say that he is the Son of God. Don't say Trinity. In Tahu Khairan Lakum, this is perfect, it will be better for you. In Namallahu Lakum, Wahid, for your God is one God, is not three in one. And this is the evidence we have from the Bible. This verse on the Trinity, you have it there in the Bible of yours, I know. That is the authorized King James Version, the English one that you have, and then your Danish one is also based on the authorized King James Version. This is not the. Right. Now, there you find in the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. First epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. First epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. Where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Am I correct, sir? No. What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> there are three witnesses, the spirit and the water and the blood. And the three agree. Right. Now that is the revised version of the Bible. That one now, you can say it's not the King James Version, that is the revised version. Okay. Right. It, so it is the Danish version, right. but similar. Uh, no, no, no. The English one, you did in the Danish one. That may be based on the revised version. Now here is the revised version of the Bible. 
Then by 30, it was called as the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations of Christendom. And that verse is now thrown out as a fabrication. Hmm. That that verse that you are reading actually was a marginal note made by a certain vigilance of taxes in the 6th century for his own edification or for his children. And that when the people were given for printing, those words crept into the main text. So they have now been thrown out as a fabrication. In the revised standard, every modern translation, Moffat translation, New World translation, revised version, revised American version, they are all thrown it out as a fabrication. That this is not supposed to be the book. Then, you see, you go to this man himself, the master himself, Jesus. In, in the Gospel of St. Mark, Brother, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 19, I'm sorry, Mark, chapter 9, verse 12, uh, you, you, you build this out. A Jew comes to him and questions him, said, Master, what commandment is the first of all? You remember the sense. Master, Rabbi, in the Hebrew language, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answers and says that to him, the first is, mm -hmm. you remember that? No. The first is, in Hebrew, he must have spoken in Hebrew to his people, Shema Israel Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Is that the answer he gave? Mm -hmm. Right. Jesus Christ is questioned, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answers and says that to the Jewish learned man, scribe, a learned man, the first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord of our God, the Lord is one, not three in one. That was the right time. If he came to preach Trinity, he should have said, you see, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we three are one, you have to believe in that, if you want to be saved. He said, nothing of the kind. He repeats word for word what was given by Moses 1300 years before, without the change of a thought. Not one jot or one tittle, he says, shall pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, or shall teach men so, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall teach and do, shall be called great. So, the teaching of Jesus, he never taught you that the Father is God, the Son is God, no. the Holy Ghost is God, but there are not three gods, but one God. Nowhere, nowhere in the Bible, any Bible, there is no such statement, the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God, but there are not three gods, but one God. Is there any such thing in the Swedish Bible, Danish Bible? Mm. That the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost, that's what you say in your family and in your church. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God, mm. but there are not three gods, but one God. Is there such a statement in the Bible? In your Bible, sir? No. I know, in my Bible it doesn't exist. It's not there in my Bible. No, but there are so many different bits that when they are fit together, they can only fit the greatness of God in this way. But God is greater than our logic can keep in one word. But as God says, it says, your book says, sir, that God is not the author of confusion. Am I correct, sir? This is confusion. How much is that? But it is Wow, God is not a lot of confusion. Yeah, like the person that asks the question, my God, <laughs> the person actually knows the answer. But you just wanted I mean, did that to you know clarify things for those pastors and man, that was really harsh. <laughs> it was really really harsh the way he asked the question and he told I mean, did that to you know answer the question for them. But I don't think. There's a place where they said, oh, the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, the three in one. What he's trying to say is that we, we just named it as Trinity because there was a place where they said, oh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Father is God. God the 
son the son is jesus the last one is the holy spirit so we believe that since they all came from god then they are three in one they are together it was god that sent jesus to the world and he, he didn't come in human form so we we see him as uh, a, um, a prophet of god and since it was god that sent him is you know we we believe that is from God and they have that connection connection and they are together and the Holy Spirit is what we cannot see but we can feel that's I think that's why we come about the Trinity that is three in one that is they all come from God so I understand a meditator's point of view and the pastors are I was expecting them to give you know a deeper explanation on that but they themselves they don't even know what to know but they did their best to explain in their own way and well wow. so thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye